Why are mild pit bulls a problem? Pit bull enthusiasts are aware that these adorable puppies are available in a wide range of hues, from the stunning blue to the striking brindle. However, one look that is gradually becoming more prevalent is getting both positive and negative attention. Yes, we are discussing Merle Pit Bulls. Since there has been a lot of talk about them, we wanted to give you the scoop even though we are aware of the heated controversy. We'll explain what Merle Pit Bulls are below and explain why there's such a fuss. What's the deal with Merle Pit Bulls, anyway? Pit Bulls with the Merle Color Mutation are known as Merle Pit Bulls. Although the Merle color pattern varies greatly, dogs with it typically have swirls and patches of both pure and diluted colors. Unfortunately, other alterations to a dog's appearance and health can also be brought on by the Merle gene. In some cases, the gene also influences things like skin tone or eye color, but it can also affect a dog's hearing and eyesight. Technically, pit bulls should not exhibit Merle coats in accordance with the UKC breed standard. For those who adore this coat pattern, there are still plenty of these adorable, bizarrely colored creatures available. A Merle Pit Bull, what is it? The term Merle Pit Bull accurately describes the breed, a pit bull with a Merle coat. Other than the Merle's well-known eye-catching appearance, the color has no special benefits or advantages. Merle fur coats frequently have a patchy appearance with different sections of diluted and fully pigmented colors, typically consisting of shades of black or red dotted or swirled over blue and white. For those who are unfamiliar with dog coat patterns, this can make Merle fur coats appear unattractive. Merle, also known as Dapple, is most frequently found in Australian Shepherds, Shelties, and Catahoula Leopard dogs, but if the pattern catches your eye, there are many other Merle dog breeds to investigate. Merle is a stunning pattern, but because of the gene that causes the coat pattern, it is a little controversial. In addition to changing a dog's color, the Merle gene can also impact your dog's hearing and vision as well as the color of his skin. Imaginary, huh? Even worse, a dog can carry the Merle gene without displaying the wild coat pattern, a condition known as cryptic Merle. Why does this matter? Because breeding two Merle dogs together can result in dangerous complications. These double Merle offspring run the risk of being born blind or deaf. Genetic testing is essential before breeding because of these obscure or so-called phantom or cryptic Merles, which can cause issues. How can a Merle pit bull be different from a brindle? Since they have very different coat patterns, it is relatively simple to distinguish between a Merle pit bull and a brindle pit tie. Dogs with brindle patterns have a brown base with black striping that gives them a tiger-like appearance, whereas Merles have an overall splotchy appearance. Pit bulls can exhibit either pattern, although brindle pit bulls are much more typical. Another tell here is the eye color, with Merles occasionally having blue or bicolored eyes. This characteristic is uncommon in brindles. Is Merle a pit bull's natural coat color? We still believe that all dogs are cute and deserving of belly rubs, but as the number of Merle Pit Bulls has increased, many people are curious about their status in the show ring and whether they can be registered as a breed. This is debatable in the case of Merle Pit Bulls. Why? Because some people mistakenly believe that other bully breeds include the American Pit Bull Terrier. Merle and albinism are forbidden in the American Pit Bull Terrier according to the UKC breed standard. All other colors, coat designs, and color combinations are acceptable. According to the UKC breed standard, the comparable American Bully is also prohibited in the Merle pattern. The American Staffordshire Terrier, a relative of the American Pit Bull Terrier, is now accepted by the AKC. Unfortunately, the breed overview lists Pit Bull Terrier as another name for these. According to AKC guidelines, the American Staffordshire Terrier is acceptable in all hues and patterns, including part one or patched. The official standard considers dogs that are more than 80% white, black, and tan, or liver to be subpar. Short version, Merle is not a naturally occurring color and is officially prohibited in American Pit Bull Terriers, but other bully breeds with the pattern may still be registered. Is the Merle color health risky? 
Deafness and blindness in dogs with a single copy of the Merle gene are uncommon, but due to a lack of skin pigment, double Merles, dogs with two copies of the gene are more likely to experience deafness, total blindness, and other eye problems. They may also be more susceptible to sunburns or skin cancer due to their lack of skin pigment. It's concerning if the parents of your Merle puppy weren't genetically screened before mating. Not because we don't think blind or deaf dogs are awesome, but rather because eye and skin conditions can be uncomfortable for your dog and costly to treat over time. Can I purchase a Merle pit bull? You get to choose how you want to use your money. Making the decision to buy or adopt a dog is a big one, so consider what will be best for you and your new pup. Go ahead and purchase a Merle pit bull if you've found a breeder who has genetic testing to guarantee he won't have any health issues. Merle is a UKC disqualifier, so if you intend to later register your American Pit Bull Terrier with a breed registry, we advise continuing your search. Your decision is up to you. Pit Bull's Merle gene does not appear to have any more negative traits than other Merle breeds, such as Australian Shepherds or Collies, do. The issues arise when breeders willfully disregard the standard, which leaves room for other potential violations that might not be in the best interests of the animal. What do Merle Pit Bulls cost? Are they pricey? The Merle Pit Bull is a rare or unique breed of dog, so it stands to reason that anyone selling it will likely charge a premium for each puppy. These puppies frequently have price tags that are twice as high as those of other puppies, sometimes going well over $1,000. Sadly, purchasing a high-priced dog does not ensure that you will receive a puppy with good physical and mental health. The fact that the puppies aren't registered and that Merle Pit Bulls are against the UKC breed standard complicates the situation even more. To avoid the double Merle we mentioned earlier, you must absolutely confirm that a Merle puppy's parents underwent genetic testing prior to mating. You should also inquire about any other testing done, such as orthopedic, cardiac, and hearing tests. Prior to mating, ethical breeders test each dog to ensure that the offspring will strengthen the bloodline of the breed rather than just be fashionable. Do you own a pit bull with Merle fur? How do you feel about the coat's design? Please tell us in the comments.